A group of Holyoke City Councilors have written a letter to the mayor and police chief looking for what they believe may be a solution to some of the city's violence. 22 News reporter Heath Cobb is live in studio with that proposed solution, Heath. CR, in the wake of that tragic shooting in Holyoke just two days ago, five city councilors are now asking for an increase of visible police presence on three streets that they believe need it the most. Two days after a senseless shooting that resulted in the death of a baby in Holyoke, five city councilors are now working towards making the residents of the city feel safer. Friday morning, they sent this letter to both the mayor and police chief of Holyoke asking for a more visible police presence on High, Maple and Main Streets. We did this because we have been told by residents and business owners repeatedly that they want to see more of a police presence in the community. The city councilors don't believe that the increased police presence would solve everything, but they do see it as an effective way to deter some potential violence. Community policing, when done right, is statistically proven to work. We are very optimistic that um, we're being heard and that this is being taken extremely seriously. I spoke with Holyoke Mayor Joshua Garcia, who has the letter and is now working towards a plan to bring to those five city councilors as soon as possible. We're working on a plan that's coming in front of the council and I expect 100% support from the council to support that plan with funding so that we can move forward and do what we need to do to ensure community safety. There will be a peaceful rally held on Sunday at 1230 on High Street. City councilors tell me it'll be an important show of unity that the community is not hiding from the downtown and instead committed to making it a better and safer place. Working for you live in studio, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.